Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Love what you drive. We are in Burlington, New Jersey. And we have a really cool one for you today. This is my friend, Arthur. Hello. And he's gonna tell us everything about his car. Take it away, man. All right, uh, this is a 2006 Lincoln Town Car Signature. Um, it has uh, 200, yeah, 205,000 miles on it. Um, I brought it in, I believe, 2022. It's like late 2022. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, where, uh, where are you? Where did you buy this car? Uh, Philadelphia. Philly. That's where yeah. you're from. Yep. Okay. Okay. And how long have you had it for? Um, probably like a year and a half okay. or so. Nice. Uh, what made you get a Lincoln and not a Toyota Camry? <laughs> or well, <laughs> I I grew up with um, Lincoln Town Cars in uh, in my family. My dad used to own a limousine company. Okay. So. So it runs in the blood, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like big cars. Before this, I had a Cadillac DeVille. Uh huh. So that was the 05. The head gaskets went, so I had to get rid of that. Okay. It's a common thing on the Cadillacs, yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I heard a, I was looking into some old Cadillacs before until I found out that they have the gasket issue and then the block gets warped and you're done. Yep. So much for a Cadillac, huh? Yeah. So when I picked this up, I picked it up for like, um, like around 20, uh, like 2000, like 2500. Uh -huh. I'm not too sure which one, but um, the when he put it up for sale, he put a transmission in it, and that set him back around 3000. I have the receipt, but not in the car with me. Yeah. But so he had a blown tranny on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he replaced it, put it up for sale. Um, the history on it, I'm really not too sure. Um, he told me he picked it up in New Jersey. Okay. So I think I'm the third owner. All right. Um, okay, so uh, uh, so the VIN has the Y in it, which says the flex fuel. My Mercury is a W, which is not a flex fuel. And then the gas cap says ethanol fuel or unleaded. So this Mercury is a flex fuel. And it's a 06. I never knew, I mean, not Mercury, this Lincoln, sorry, never knew that these can come in flex fuel with the dual exhaust, sway bar. Um, and maybe that's just what the options were for this one, or whoever bought it, maybe ordered it that way. So if you know anything about the fact that, that these came flex fuel or not, let us know in the comments below. I mean, uh, do you know the color code on this or the uh, color name? No, I do not. All right, but it is a pearl. Yeah, it looks yeah. like there's a pearl pearl in there. Okay, what have you done to the exterior of this car? So I put the um, chrome arches on. Okay. I put the, the Vogue tires on there. They're uh, 235.50 17s. Normally, people put Vogues on these cars. They're, they put uh, 235.55s. Uh -huh. They were sold out when when uh i was going to buy the 55s so i settled with the 50s yeah how's it ride it rides uh, really well on really? these tires man it, it looks really nice i pulled up when we met up just a few minutes back and this thing shine i mean like it's sunny out right now yeah this thing is glowing i mean look at this the contrast of the blue sky the uh, fall foliage and this thing is just glowing man thank you did you wash it and wax it uh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah during um during the summer or like the beginning of summer i compound and yeah. uh polished it i use um uh mcguire's compound and okay. polish so these uh, Vogues are, they run pretty pricey, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all four set me back a little more than $1,200. Wow. I'm not sure if I would uh, do such. But okay, so uh, you put the chrome arches, the Vogues, 
Yeah. Anything else? What about you got a tent on here? Uh, no, the tent came with the car when I picked it up. Uh huh. Um, the back driver back window is peeling when I roll it up. You can yeah. see. Um, that's it. it. Really, I I got stuck with it twice, but that was because of um, the tires were so old and dry rotted. Yeah. So that's when I brought these. Okay. Um, no big um, major issues with this car, and I never been in an accident. Uh, no, that I don't know of. Yeah. Um, there's a little sc scuff on the bumper yep. up there, um, on the passenger side. Uh, I believe he said him or his brother or when I picked it up. Uh, they hit something or something hit the car, but nothing really major. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't think when I saw this car initially on Instagram, I don't think the Vogues were on there. Uh, no. Yeah, no, I no. just saw it as a clean Lincoln, and I'm like, hey, I need another Lincoln on my channel because <laughs> this is a third one, a second white one that we're uh, we're featuring. Yeah, I think the the majority of the Lincolns that I see are white or black. Yeah. Um, and then there's the common uh, champagne color, like yeah, gold or yeah. whatever. Yeah. The the I only seen one. And it was a like a uh, burgundy red or something. Oh, ew, yeah, that probably I, I love that color. Yeah. Um, Any future plans for the exterior? Uh, what are you running for your like say headlights? Original um, bulbs or LEDs? So, first I had uh, LEDs for the high beams and regular bulbs. Uh huh. Um, the one high beam went out, so I just replaced it with a regular one. Yep. Um, I was running for high beams, uh, GTR Ultra 2s, uh -huh. and they're they're just amazing. Okay. Right, right now, um, I'm just thinking about getting new headlights and just doing all LEDs yeah, okay. in the future. Yeah, you can't beat the performance of the LEDs. Yeah, no. They are bright and... Uh, okay, any future plans for the exterior? Anything of modding or repainting um, or...? It probably repainting the bumper. Okay. And um, probably redoing the trim. Again, okay. the arch, the arches, because they're, they're like the fronts are really good, but the backs, they're, they're a little sloppy. Yeah. Like they, they have like little gaps in the back and whatnot. Okay. Um, and yeah, one guy said, my car is a 10 footer. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good from 10 feet away. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right, uh, let's see you under the hood. As under we always hood. do, we do the exterior, the all story right. of the car, where, where, how, and when he got it, how many miles in the year, yep. and then we dive under the hood. All right. Let's go. So I am, in the future, I'm going to be doing a system in the vehicle. Okay. Um, I already have the zero gauge wire ran from the battery. I got it ran from the engine block to the frame. Okay. Um, luckily I caught it in time. The the wire from the neg the positive to the alternator yep. actually came off. Really? Yeah, oh, like this the, is the old one? Yeah, like the crimp for yep. the wire. It it didn't hold anything. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, it didn't short out anything. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, that was a like perfect timing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's really clean under here. Yeah, I I really don't wash under here yeah. all like that, but I wipe stuff down. Yeah, it looks very detailed. You probably use some armor all or something with wires, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks yeah. like a very clean. Uh, this is a Philly car its whole life or what? Um, I believe car? it's a New Jersey car okay. because on the title, when, when I signed the title and when I got it back, yeah. it said uh, like NJ and then right underneath of it, it said PA where it was being t uh, titled yeah, in. Yeah. So I believe it's a New Jersey car. Yeah, why I say because it's really clean. Like the arches down there? Yeah, I believe the first owner. Um, I, it's hard because the the guy that I brought it off of really didn't give me a whole lot to go off of. Yeah. So I'm probably going 
to do a Carfax, Carfax on after it. this video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just so you have your own info, huh? Yep. But uh, I see like the grommets. Yeah, I replaced the uh, the valve covers. Um, I replaced the water pump okay. by myself. Um, you know, nothing really, really major. I did the spark plugs by yeah. myself. Um, so you're a mechanic? Yeah, I work for uh, JB Hunt. I'm a uh, tire technician. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. So you do all the work yourself? Yep. Cool, yeah, it yeah. feels good to enjoy the fruit of your labor, huh? Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, yep. so water pump, a new valve cover gaskets. Uh, yeah. What else? Um, what else have you had to do? Oh, spark plugs? Yeah, spark plugs, wires. That's uh, just kind of, uh, what about the intake manifold? Uh, no, uh, no? That, nice. that came already uh, done already. Okay, so, so they did swap it at one yeah. time. Okay. The infamous intake manifolds yep. on these cars. Um, I got a check engine light, yeah. so I thought it was the um, airflow sensor yeah. because apparently on these cars, uh, the man, the pressure, uh, what is it? The absolute pressure manifold, whatever, uh, sensor and the uh, airflow sensor uh -huh. are the same. Okay. So I'm like, so I cleaned that out. And I sprayed it down. I put it back in. The check engine light's still on. Yep. I went on YouTube and there's a guy that has a Crown Vic. Yeah. And he was running into the same situation. Um, he sent it to one of his friends and realized that the EGR valve needs to be replaced. Yeah. So I'm running running through a bit of gas right now because okay. that's bad. I'm guessing that's bad yeah, because yeah. I already replaced that part and mm -hmm. and I also cleaned the old one and put it back in. It's still throwing the check engine check light. Engine, yeah. so. Okay, uh, maybe if you guys are uh, watching this video in the comments below, you can point them in the right direction from what he said already. Uh, that's what I love about this community. The comment section goes off and uh, we fix our cars that way. So if you had that issue with the mass airflow sensor, GR valve, the check engine light keeps coming on, throw a comment, throw some light on this uh, problem. That way he can hunt it down and get it fixed. Yeah, I would really appreciate that. Yeah. Because of, I'm on a uh, Lincoln Town Car page on Facebook. Yeah. And they tried to help me out here and there. Um, uh, the one thing that really threw me off was when it set the check engine light. It was saying it was having a cylinder five misfire. Yeah. But then I reset the check engine light, and um, the only thing that came back was the manifold pressure sensor mm -hmm. and the uh, airflow, airflow sensor. Okay. All right. Cool. Any future plans for this? Um. Well, I talked to. Um, uh, a guy at work that I work with, he has a 2012 Mustang mm -hmm. with a Coyote engine. Nice. He has uh, nitrous hooked up to it and all. And I told him if this engine ever would blow up, I will put probably a Coyote. A Coyote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I've seen one or two. Uh, Doug Demuro does one. Yeah. Yeah. Saw that one? Yeah. A white Lincoln too with the 5.0 in that. Yep. Okay. Cool, man. Uh, gotta ask, are you a motorcraft guy or you could just go uh, with what? I, I like saying stock because, okay. you know, that's what the car came yes. with. That's what the factory attended yep. for it to run with. So that's what I do. Okay. So motorcraft oil filters, motorcraft. Uh, I believe the <laughs> oil filter last time um, I went to AutoZone, yeah. whatever they had. Yeah, but yeah. the okay. spark plugs and wires are motorcraft. Yeah. So okay yeah yeah same when i could get my hands on motorcraft by all means i'll do it yeah but sometimes you're in a pinch or they don't have it you just go with what they have yeah cool okay so maybe future plans if this thing blows uh a coyote 5.0 yep. <laughs> yep cool Most let's definitely. Uh, let's close the hood and we'll move on we'll do the junk in the, in the trunk yep <laughs> Uh, you, you know, um, I got pulled over once uh -huh. over in uh, Florence, New Jersey, and um, the cop pulled me over because of I went over the uh, white line, yeah. the, and I was really mad because he was following me for like for like 
probably like five six blocks yeah and he was really following me and uh when he came up to the car i said you want me to pop the trunk <laughs> that's uh, the first thing he said <laughs> yeah yeah he didn't like that very much <laughs> so so um okay. that that most definitely land landed me a ticket uh, yeah <laughs> so what did the ticket what did you um so first when he came up to the window he said it was for suspicious activity oh okay and all of a sudden he came back and said i went over the white line yeah yeah i said <laughs> i'm like um <laughs> which one is it yeah you okay know? so yeah when they pull you over they got to give you something yeah yeah did but, he ask you how many bodies can you fit in the trunk <laughs> no the <not>, usual <laughs> no nah. when i said that he was a little uh a little yeah, mad like <laughs> yeah Okay, wow, it's very clean in here. Yeah, I try to keep it clean. And it smells nice. What do you put in here? Um, I, well, I think it's this. Let the, uh, see. Hippie Love. Hippie Love. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah. This thing smells nice in here. Yeah. Man, it's, like, so fresh. Okay, you put it in the trunk, too? Huh? You put the Hippie Love uh, in the Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> if you, uh, probably a week ago, if you do that, like, you get that. I was doing the oil change and yeah. I had my toolbox in here. Okay. Is that oil? Yeah. Okay. The toolbox fell on the oil and the the little um, uh, oil uh, plastic yeah. thing, the cap just came off. I'm oh, like, man. are you, you have to be yeah, kidding yeah. me. Okay. You know what happened to so, my car? Well, of course, it? I'm on the Mercury. Okay. I mean, uh, before we close the trunk yeah you system right getting some clothes uh, yeah. in here or what yeah i i already have the system set up um yeah. i just need put it in okay that's all um Ooh. i got two 12 base uh base rocks in the back for the back yeah already in the port it box i have um i have uh, the amp that came with it um I, I forgot the the brain of the amp, but yeah. it's it's pushing like twenty four hundred watts. Okay, wow, I think it's gonna um, hit hard, huh? Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, uh, the doors, I also have the door speakers. Well, the two front doors and the um, the deck speakers. Uh -huh. I'm replacing with um, the brain. They're six and a half. Um, Death bounce. Death bounce. Yeah. Never heard of those. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Grew up yeah. in Philly, yeah. Yep. Uh, That's nice, South though, right? Philly. South Philly. Okay. Yeah. Then I moved up to um, like North Philly. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. What I was gonna say, you got the oil in my Mercury. Uh, I had a whole gallon of Lucas, like engine treatment oh, yeah. or the gas treatment, and I was just driving. I'm like, I gotta take it out. Gotta take it out. Before I took it out, it fell over in the whole bottle. The whole gallon oh, yeah. spilled in my trunk. Yeah. So I, I feel you, man. It's the same feeling of that yep. greasy. Yep. Okay, so, so got to get some of that hippie love. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, gas station right around the corner. That sells okay. it. Yeah, that's where I picked it up. Okay, we're going to look under to see the, as we always do, to see if there's any rust. Okay, not that, actually really nice. Okay, and it comes with a dual exhaust. Wow. And the sway bar. Okay, I'm so used to single exhaust on uh, even Lincolns and Mercury's. But yeah, this thing is definitely got all the bells and whistles. Yeah, I don't know um, if it's the... Uh... Cool. So um, this uh, junk in the trunk had no junk in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, let's go in the back seat first. Back seat? Yeah. Oh, this door. Locked it. it no, this door gets jammed. Oh, there you go. So so you really have to pull that door. Okay. Man, look at these door panels. Yeah, just wait until you see the ones up front. There's <laughs> no rust. No. Man, I'm impressed. No, there was rust on the back quarters, yeah. but I, I already fixed that, and then I put the chrome on. Yeah, but even here, so you said there's a little bit of rust back here? Yeah, I fixed it yeah. before I put the chrome on. But man, it's clean. Did you have some kind of uh, treatment? No, no, not that I know of. Okay. 
if the original owner put something on uh, i'm not too sure yeah because it looks like it might have been sprayed with something to maybe protect it but yeah look at these door wells man so what else we just we noticed or i noticed was that the rear uh the door jams it still has the factory blue a uh, little film over it uh, that came to cover it so whenever you would buy it you'd have the pleasure of ripping it off but it's I just noticed that I was like sitting in the bag I'm like hey that that's nice and I think the other side right yep and the front ones are already filled up somebody already had the pleasure of oh man look at this since 2006 nobody peeled them off that is cool man Okay. and then oh yeah the front somebody already got them there's a little piece left cool what a neat little touch definitely a special door. clean I mean are you yeah. guys seeing this <laughs> I, I, I just yeah I, I get impressed when uh, cars are very clean okay so yep that's nice yeah, no one really sits in the back. Yeah. You know, it's just me and my wife, so no if you kids. And your wife are in the back. Who's driving the car? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we we ain't. <laughs> uh, yeah, but okay. the um, door panels up front, I guess um, the handles uh -huh. they get stuck out like that. Okay. I don't know if that's like a Lincoln thing or yeah. or what, but. Oh man, these are nice. I wonder if these will fit on the Mercury. Anybody <laughs> knows. Uh, you got the little gold accent, you got this handle, you got the pocket with yeah. the light. Yep. And the um, ashtray. Okay. Yeah. So, the only here. thing uh -huh. with the uh, back doors, they don't have speakers in them. They don't? No. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I, do, I do, found do that out. have speakers in their doors? I'm not too sure. They're either in the back deck lid and in the front door. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The the uh, system that's in the car is factory. Yeah. And it sounds absolutely sounds good. perfect. Yeah. Okay. I think you treat the leather, right? Uh, yep. Yep. I treat it with, uh, what is it called? Um, v VLR or something. The red bottle of... Um, Leather uh, conditioner? Yeah. Okay, man, these feel nice. I'm gonna have to sit in here. Can I sit in there? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, man. This is comfy. This is really nice. Um, okay, tell us about this sticker. Yeah, that, I'm not too sure if that's like a factory thing I brung up to you. Yeah. But that will not come off at all. So I'm not too sure if anyone could tell me what that is. Um, it's like stamped. The ink is on the leather, but it's not on here. So it, they either shut something and it's backwards. I, I'm trying to read what it says. Yeah, but it's in here and that's yeah. what makes the car special. Yeah, I don't know that 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 uh, that was from factory yeah. or or any other uh 06 town cars have that okay nice okay yeah so if you guys know anything about the first thing you said like there's something wrong back here and you showed me and i'm like oh that's nice yeah the uh headliner in the back where the window is is sagging yeah that's so that's one of the things i'm going to fix in the future as well um so you got your but everything here. in the vehicle works everything how it works. should be yeah yeah plenty of room back here these lincolns are so nice okay let's move on to the front yep uh the front you'll see the doors um when i'm talking about this okay where it's cracked i think this is like a lincoln or or a uh, panther yeah. issue i had glue glue these down because the clip inside broke so and this as well oh yeah yeah i don't know if i need to replace the whole door but everything works so. yeah everything works okay yeah it's crack yeah usually this pops off 
and uh, they get they get used so much that these. Uh, yeah, and and plus it has. It has 205,000 yeah. models on yeah, it. Yeah, it's very so. taken care of, but it was also driven. Yeah. Like it should be. Okay. Cool, man. Um, let's take a look in here. Okay, so of, of course, being a Lincoln, it'll have the pedal adjustments. Yep. It'll have the traction control button, because not all VIX and not all Mercury's have that. Uh, then the steering wheel. Okay, so it's not the wood grain. No. Is wood grain for the executive um i believe that starts in uh signature limited okay okay i want to get a steering wheel like this because it does have the radio controls mine on the market only has the cruise control oh yeah. yeah yeah i just found that out because the check engine lights aren't i guess um when the check engine light is on the cruise control doesn't work because i tried to use it yeah and with the check engine light on and it would not work does your tcs or traction control is on too, uh no? no 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 interesting okay so i had that before actually i think when i had the mass airflow sensor when i was swapping out the intakes mm -hmm. and the cruise control would not work all right and it was the mass airflow sensor because i put a bigger uh mass airflow sensor housing from the p71 oh yeah and so it was yeah it was not the engine light was on and the cruise wasn't working all right so maybe keep maybe, keep, maybe yeah keep, maybe uh, maybe get another part or so i don't know yeah when i fix that and see if it comes back yeah. okay so you got a pioneer in here yeah that came with the car when i picked it up it's a very clean installation yeah i want to put um a double din a yeah. screen in because you know it it just looks to me it looks out of date this one yeah, yeah the little face and all <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel like uh putting a touch screen in okay. would make the interior look yeah a little of better. course man cool man yeah it's very clean in here look at the floor mats uh let me guess you don't eat and drink in here uh no no okay no. why you ask this is clean yeah well I, if, if you see, yeah <laughs> if you see uh dog hair i i have a uh siberian husky oh so okay i try to keep i uh, haven't seen any dog hair yet <laughs> yeah thank, thank god <laughs> oh man yeah it's it feels cozy in here like the light colors yeah it smells fresh and uh, everything's so clean. Yeah, the armrest needs to be replaced. The um, this button when you try to pick it up, it, it it's right. like jammed. It but jams when up. you pick it up on the other side, uh -huh. it works perfect. Okay. Um, oh, there's a, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I have Ooh, a yeah. Okay. So it opens from both sides. Yep. Man, yeah, I've we've done so many Crown Vigs that I don't realize what nice things the Lincolns have. <laughs> Okay, and I didn't notice this, the climate control or the climate vents Yeah, just there. vents back there. Uh -huh. um, no screen or anything to control anything back there. But Okay. Wow, any future plans in here besides getting um, a new stereo? And yeah, speakers? what you said, the steering wheel, probably replacing it with the wood grain. Yeah. If I could find one that is in this color. Yep because the only ones i could find is like that tan tan the light yeah, tan one, yeah. The light tan with the wood okay if you ever to if you do find it uh call me i'll buy this one off for you because okay. this is the color of my interior all right uh, dash my seats are this color but my dash is this gray yeah the, that's what i want to keep i want to try to keep it all uniformed yeah cool man now all that's left to do i think is go for a little ride all right no do you problem. have time for a ride yeah cool yeah. but i think what i'm gonna do is sit in the back because <laughs> right. uh nobody sits back there nope <laughs> nope okay let me unhook your mic uh you get in right. and i will uh, hook you back up really pull it. i'm gonna go on this side And I'm gonna feel like a boss just getting a ride in the back of this nice. Yeah, I know. 
So the air suspension would come up because I put the uh, P71 springs in okay. the back. I came out in the morning and the whole back of the car was sitting on the ground. So, so it did have the uh, airbags, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and when you looked into how much it costs, <laughs> right well, to replace them? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I found a pair and I tried to put them on myself. The one side would air up, the other yeah. side wouldn't. So I'm like, you know what? The car set for probably a week until the springs came in. Yeah. So. P71 springs and shocks, yeah? Yes. So it's nice and. Uh, yep. Like the road's duty. a little, yeah, the little rough. A little wonky. But, and the uh, front uh, shocks need to be replaced. I already have them. Uh -huh. I'm just waiting for a nice, another next nice day so I could replace them. I, so you might hear a little rattle yeah. from them. Oh man. Yeah, we can just go around how we came okay. this way. Just go for a little cruise. This is a really nice area. Yeah, and, I, uh, I, will, I love taking photos down here yeah. of the car. You got guys with their boats out. Yeah, it rides really smooth for for the age of, does, of the yeah. vehicle too. Um, you know, you might hear that little rattle noise up and coming when, yep. yeah, you hear that. What is that? That's probably it, the, the, Those are the shocks. Oh, the shocks, yeah. Yeah, because the one is leaking, the other one is like really bouncy. I guess that's about to start leaking. Yeah, okay. But it's, it drives perfectly, perfectly straight. The road's kind of really, really messed yeah, up. Yeah, it's really clean in here. I'm really uh, surprised that. Yeah, I might have uh, to like sockets and whatnot in the back pockets. Yeah, that's <laughs> why mechanics always roll around. Yep. Yeah, I haven't been in the Lincoln since the first one, Matthew, with the black. Uh, yeah, I seen that one. L. Yeah, the long wheelbase and. Uh, but this yeah, one. Yeah, was that. Uh, did that one have the um for the arm armrest back there with the seat controls it did, it did. yeah yep it had yeah. the seat controls and the radio controls i think yep yeah that was a uh, cool like i've never seen that before Definitely yeah a limo style again i i was before i was looking at this i was looking at a black um uh executive yep. l and then i was looking at a white cartier Mm -hmm. The guy with the Cartier, I told him I'll be up uh, within a week. He sold it within the, that week that I told him yeah. I was going to look at it. The black, um, um, the black uh, long wheelbase one, mm -hmm. um, that one had like 288,000 miles on it and it was probably a limo company. Yeah, but. and and I really didn't want to get into a headache with you know what if this goes that yep. goes, you know. But with me driving this car since it had 160 on it, it has uh, let's see, 205,252. Yep. And the only big thing that I had to replace are tires and water pump. Yeah. So and that's just normal maintenance. Yeah, yeah. At that mileage and that year, so. But yeah, I'm still very impressed at how, uh, like, little of rust there is. Yeah, the, the only thing that I knew what the guy told me what he did for a living was he was a. Uh, he used to work at the Philadelphia airport, and he used to refuel uh, jets. Yeah. And. Okay. Um, he told me when he brought it and and whatnot. He told me he brought it over in Jersey. That's yeah. that's all the history that I have for the vehicle. But um, everything else is is perfectly yeah. in good working order for this vehicle. Does your wife like this car? Uh, <laughs> I would say yes and no, um, because it doesn't have heated or cold seats. Yep. Yeah. For the winter, but yeah, you my know, my wife's the same. Yeah, yeah. When I had the uh, 
Cadillac DeVille that had um, heated cold seats and uh, the heated steering wheel. But, okay. you know, everyone was telling me about the head gasket issues and yeah. whatnot. I'm like, yeah, that's not going to happen to me. <laughs> Guess <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, but that car was uh, from Florida. Okay, yeah, so, so that thing was probably... Yeah, I, I got that car off of when my dad uh, passed away. I, I I got that car. Um, I tried to fix it. It had all these uh, issues. Um, you think that's your dad right there? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, when he brought it, someone hit the, the quarter panel, mm -hmm. and I tried to go to body shops left and right, and they want it well over what the car was worth yeah. at the time. And um, I really didn't think that it wasn't it was a affecting the drivability of the vehicle, mm -hmm. so I just left it alone. And so your dad was you guys used to live in Florida? Uh, no, no, no. We we're from Philly. Oh, okay. It, the people that he brought the car off of oh, okay. brought me up from Florida. But this car, I have no idea where this car is yeah. from. I, again, I think it's from New Jersey, from the title that I have, where it says um, it says NJ, and then it's right underneath it says PA. Yeah. So when you turn the lights on, yeah, uh, do these little uh, bulbs in here go on? Uh, I don't believe so. Why are the Why are all the lights on now, right now? Because I. Oh, you turned yeah, it on. Okay, yeah, okay. To show that. Because there is Everything. a little, like a... Yeah, little, I never knew there was lights in there. I wonder if... Oh, wait. Oh, no, I just popped it off. Oh, boy. <laughs> so there... No, it comes off? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There... I don't see a light bulb. But it yeah, does there, look like it... There's probably one for, like, um, the signature limited. Okay. Because that's when... Um, these cars have um, a lot more options. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Man, just... Even with um, closing the doors, you know that nice click. Yeah. Yeah, you the can't nice beat solid that. Solid clunk. Yeah. 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 Well, I think this is everything. All right. Man, this was a very smooth, clean. You're a very down-to-earth guy, Arthur. Thank you. I so, really appreciate your time as well. Yeah, do you uh, go by Art? Yeah, Art, yeah. Arthur. Okay, me too. Yeah. My name is Artem. Artem. <laughs> uh, Arthur, thank you so much. I'm sure the viewers are going to love this. Oh, and, uh, we appreciate your time and your wonderful car. All right. Yeah, man, All right, thanks. Thank you. See you guys in the next one.